What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Mighty Have Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE Elite figure set review on the WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Walmart exclusive wave number one. Very excited for this wave. As you guys know, we've discussed it many times on the channel here. I walked in my local Walmart yesterday and found all three of them just chilling on the pegs. Very shocking discovery. Didn't expect to see these on my toy hunt yesterday. Went looking for something else, and bam, there they were. Very exciting stuff, man. We got Brock Lesnar, Batista, and Shawn Michaels, of course, Series 2. Two and three are coming soon. However, this is wave one. I'm excited to finally find these in the wild. I know these have been out for a little bit there, but I am excited for them, man. As you guys know, we have Brock Lesnar, Batista, and Shawn Michaels. Three great figures here. Love the packaging that we got going on. Let's go ahead and break it down. Of course, we do have our front viewing window. Love that they included the classic Jack Pacific Ruthless Aggression style logo here. So this is the same logo that was featured on the Jack Pacific Ruthless Aggression series back in the day. So I think that's excellent. I love the red, the white, and the black. You got Brock Lesnar. You got their names down here. You got that big logo behind them back there as well on the cardboard piece back there. You even got Ruthless Aggression up here. WWE Elite. On the side, you get the same logo and Brock Lesnar. Elite logo down here. On the back, you get a shot of the figure. You got the bio read. Rest of the figures in the wave. Just three figures in this series. At the top on the back, you also have the same logo and their names. Names on the side there. Ruthless Aggression again right there. Just very nice packaging. It's got that modern take, but it twisted in some of that old stuff, and I think they did a really nice job. You also have Batista here. You'll also notice that they come with some unique accessories like this lamp for Batista and then Shawn Michaels comes with a ring bell and that is because the classic versions or the Ruthless Aggression Jack Pacific versions of Batista and Shawn Michaels also came with these accessories so that's kind of like a nod, a tip of the cap, little Easter egg there for you in this wave here but Batista and Shawn Michaels look really great. As a Ruthless Aggression baby or a guy that grew up watching the Ruthless Aggression era, this is my money zone right here here. The tail end of the Attitude Era and then right into the Ruthless Aggression Era is just the money zone for me. And so getting this wave, getting figures from around that era is always going to hit me right in the fields. And that's no different here today, man. But let's go ahead and crack Brock Lesnar, Batista, and Shawn Michaels out of their packaging. Find out what they're all about and see if they are as good as advertised and get a little taste of... Alright guys, so this is editing tray and I was actually going to put in the clip of John Cena going Ruthless aggression and then slapping Kurt Angle but as you guys can see I couldn't find the clip and I couldn't figure out how to get that video downloaded and, and inserted there so if anybody has any tips on that I'd greatly appreciate it but just imagine just imagine it ha had it cut to a clip of John Cena saying that wouldn't that have been great and a great edit Sure would have been. What? It can't, can't have nothing nice. All right, man, so here's the full wave out of the packaging. Loving all of it, honestly. It's just perfection, to be honest with you, top to bottom. Love this line. Love the figures. Go buy them right now. But in all seriousness, we have to dive into the details, of course, and get into them. So we're just going to go left to right like we always do. We're reading the books here. So we're going to start off with Brock Lesnar's accessories. Go through Brock Lesnar. Same for Tista. Same for HBK. You guys know how these things roll. We're going to get into comparisons. We're going to break it all down, of course. But let's just shut the hell up and get to it so I can go eat some lunch. Now for Brock Lesnar's accessories, a championship that we have not seen in quite a minute is the old school WWE championship or undisputed championship or whatever you would like to say. It looks beautiful. One of the best championships WWE's ever done. I think it looks so good and modern and classic for the time period especially. It, it is money. It is absolute money and I'm super glad that we included another one here. Brock always looked great with it and it looks great right here. I love this championship. This is excellent. And then for interchangeable hands, you get mic holding hands and you get fists. Not a lot going on. I mean, that's it. You get fists. I, I hate that they made Brock Lesnar's hands so small, because I think he's one of those guys that deserves bigger hands. He wears like a 5XL glove or something like that, so yeah, they, these are too small. This is the same hands that John Cena, Adam Cole, and whoever the hell else gets, so it doesn't make much sense, does it? All right, guys, so getting into Brock Lesnar, starting out the head sculpt, kind of an ugly head, you know, I do believe this is the ringside exclusive, maybe, I think is what this is. I think this is the old ringside exclusive head. It may not be, but but it's still an ugly head. Like, it kind of looks like Brock, but it kind of looks like he's been chewing freaking glass or something. I don't know. But the hair color's new. It looks a bit browner. It's like a dirty blonde there, but yeah, it's not the worst. Same torso. We've seen on multiple Brock Lesnar's. You do have the double jointed arms on here, which are a nice addition. You got the black wrist tape. Black trunks on the back. You do get the spinal cord bone or skeleton going on. You got his back tats before the meat hooks, so not all the tats are there, but he's got the, you know, this isn't the UFC Brock, so he does have the black trunks, black knee pads, and then he has his signature boots that I always loved with the strap, similar to Batista 
or Bobby Lashley, but guy feels great. Feels really nice in hand with ab crunch. You know, the shoulders feel clean and smooth. Double joint arms feel clean and smooth. It's actually a really smooth figure. He's on ball joints. Like, yeah, I, I like it a lot. I think this is a perfect representation of Brock Lesnar from this era. Again, not my favorite head sculpt, but we've seen this guy before, and this figure is kind of a re-release. And this is the WrestleMania 32 Elite Brock, and then you have the, I think this is the ringside exclusive? I can't, I can't remember, to be honest with you. But again, we've seen this figure before, just released in different iterations here, but this is a nice updated version with double jointed arms. You can throw some accessories on there. I think a cloth. Here comes the pain shirt or something would have been really awesome, but at least we do get the WWE Championship. But uh, yeah, I like this Brock figure a lot. Now for Batista's accessories, really great. We have we talked about it in the intro about his lamp accessory that came with his original Ruthless Aggression Jax figure. So this is cool to see. This is a, I, I want to say this is a first time in the line accessory. Don't think we've seen this before. I could be wrong about that, but I think this is the first time, but it's got a nice black shade to it. Nobody uses lamps like this anymore. You know, this is a real tale of the times. I mean, lamps obviously still exist. I just don't think they look exactly like this anymore. You know what I mean? But got the black shade. You do have the rod right there. No light bulb, of course, but you do have the holder or the base of the lamp that does break away right there, and it comes in two separate pieces, so you can smash this over somebody's head, and you could actually probably use this as an urn or a pot for, you know, a different display, but you can smash it right there, giggity. And then you can take it right here, and you can plug it in the middle here. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll plug the lamp in there, and then you can just clasp it together like that, and then set it on a table and it fall off and break, just like when you're roughhousing in your house too much. In all seriousness, outside of that, you also get mic holding hands for Batista, and you get fisted hands, which are the same exact size as the Brock Lesnar hands that they give you, which is the same exact size that they give with everybody. So Shawn Michaels will be no different. But in all serious though, going back to the lamp and knocking it over, when I was a kid, my Nana, my mom's mom, anytime we would be playing in the house, or at her house specifically, and she was watching us or something like that, she's very in particular about stuff, and so if she was in the other room and she heard us playing or or whatever in the other room and she heard like a loud knock like say we were in the other room and she was like in the kitchen or something and she heard like she's in the other room or in the kitchen we're in the opposite room playing together and there was like a thud or like a loud noise like she you you could hear her yell she'd go all right now and that was like the sign to like settle the hell down so getting into batista man the head sculpt is one of those that you get on the ultimate edition batista and it's a fantastic head sculpt i actually really like it i think it captures batista really well and i'm glad we have like sort of this evolution style batista to go here in the collection you get the double jointed arms you get the massive torso good god that ab crunch put the crunch in ab crunch jesus christ tattoos look good here didn't have all the ones that he has now but he did have like that is just the that is the epitome of the tribal tat and the sun around the belly button just embodies that era of life you know what i mean on the back he does have his massive dragon tattoo that is nice he's got his gold trunks with the flames going all the way around it's kind of like a dragon sort of flame but it is just a flame design there in the gold and red and black he's got his massive legs no ball joints big knee pads and then the same you know boots as brock lesnar it's kind of weird because this figure is very similar to the brock lesnar but it's different you know what i mean it's not the same here, but for your Batista figure comparison, we just have the Ultimate Edition here. So you guys can see, you have the Ultimate and then you have the Elite. They're very, very similar in their own ways. So yeah, you got both Batistas here. Same head sculpts. Eyes applied a little bit differently there. But yeah, you got, I mean, it's basically the same exact figure. This Ultimate's one of my favorite Ultimates they've done. But yeah, man, pretty much the same figure. But damn, what a great figure. It really is nice. I, I love Batista. Loved him then. Love him now. Love him forever. So for Shawn Michaels accessories, just like the others in the set, or, or Batista, for that matter. You get the ring bell. You get the black ring bell. This is a very nice ring bell, by the way. I do believe we have seen this before, but you do have the, you know, the, the hammer and the bell. Very nice and, and great. I like it. It's kind of a modern take on a ring bell, so I like that. Looks good. Got the string on there. Very cool. And then you also get the entrance hands or the handshaking ricochet Kawhi Leonard. Massive hands. You know, handshaking hands for uh, Shawn Michaels right there. And then he also comes with mic holding hands, so that's it. All right, guys, so getting into Shawn Michaels. Same head we've seen from basic 100 and on like i'm honestly over it at this juncture not a bad head sculpt but i'd like to see something new you know what i mean i'm I, i'm there i love the first movie but it's the same as the 10th movie you know what i'm saying i want to see something different here i think chest hair probably would have helped this figure a lot but he's got the double jointed arms skinny Shawn michaels arms tattoo white wrist tape the beautiful pants that we've been waiting on the white red and black look so clean got the crosses on there very nice man i mean it, it is a standard Shawn michaels and we've seen this 
this like a couple times already over the last year or so, right? And I'm going to get into the comparisons, but he's on bald joints. He's got the long pants. We begged for long pants Shawn Michaels, and they gave it to us, so I'm not going to complain. You know what I mean? So we've gotten three Shawn Michaels in long pants from the Ruthless Aggression era over the last year, and I'm here for it. Got the black, silver, and white from SummerSlam. It looks clean. Love the red, white, and black. And then you have the WrestleMania 26. So they could make 10 more long pants Shawns in, in, from the Ruthless Aggression era. And I, I, I'll sit here and review them all day. But I'd like to see a new head sculpt. Anyways, man, that is going to wrap up this 3-in-1 or WWE Elite figure set review on the WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Series Number 1 Walmart exclusive wave. Now, I don't know if you can get these anywhere else but Walmart, but they are hitting, so check your Walmarts, man. Maybe you'll get lucky. Took forever for my Walmart to get it, so maybe your Walmart's in the same boat. Maybe, you know, yours hasn't had it or had any new figures in a while. I'd go check, man. I'd go check. You never know, because my Walmarts are usually sucked dry like the damn Sahara Desert. Finding anything like this is uh, usually rare. I find AEW stuff, I never find WWE. It's ridiculous. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up the Best of Ruthless, Ruthless Aggression wave. I love the wave. I'm going to buy every single figure, no doubt. I don't hate any of these. They could repaint these for the next wave, and I'd be on board because they're three characters I love and enjoy. And so, I say go grab them. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day. I'll see you next time. You cross the line. I've been